this is my first day in Bosnia. Um, I went exchanged money this morning, slept in. I was absolutely screwed after the flight yesterday, so I went to sleep pretty early. I'm off to the little country property here around the Petrical District, where I currently am, just to fly my drone and I don't know, see what's there. My, it's got a property with a little shack on it. So it'll be interesting, it's about five kilometers out of town. Fun fact about Bosnia, unemployment is around 40%. It could be 44, it could be closer to 50, but I doubt that it's gonna be lower than 40%. Um, so I really, like every time I come here to visit family, and I've got family which is very well off, and the other side which is very poor. Um, I visit most of them, uh, apart from the crazy ones. Driving can be a nightmare here, like all, all your common sense road rules just go out the window. And my rental car gets discriminated against because I have Serbian number plates. And especially in Bosnia, when, when I drive into the Muslim Federation, they, like straight away, most cops will pull me over just, on, on, just for have, having those plates. Like they pull you over on stupid crap, like, you know, they're going to do a technical inspection of the car Right after in front of me, there was a golf with with more rust than metal on there. That was had more smoke than a choo-choo train, and they'll let him go, but they'll pull me over because they've seen. Hang on, he's got Serbian plates. I mean, I, I don't mind because they tell me to drive away two minutes later because I tell them, look, the car is a rental. I've signed an agreement that says the car's in a roadworthy condition. So if there's something wrong with the car, you call Europe Car in Belgrade and not screw with me here and then they realize that they can't do anything and they go oh well you can go now so here i am in the countryside it's slightly windy i reverse down what the hell i've got the hiccups for some reason today and that's the little shack like mainly even all these people here and that, they've built these things for somewhere to come in summer when it's slightly better temperatures. And also this is really nice in summer, you've got all the green leaves and it doesn't get too hot here. So you can really come and enjoy. For some reason many years ago people broke into this thinking there's something worth a value but probably the most valuable thing would be the sofa inside which <laughs> no one's going to drag on from here or this, or this table, this is like hardwood table and behind here you have some more building materials roof, <laughs> roof over there and just bushland here which I don't know who it belongs to, but it's fun to walk. Um, there's no landmines here. Well, no one's got blown up by one. There could be, but yeah. I'll show you the inside. <coughs> Jesus. I don't even know what key it is. It'll be one of these. There's like millions of keys here. So this is what's here, you got a little barbecue, water, little stove, and yeah. Obviously this hasn't been used since summer, which is why it's it's all a bit dirty. It's sort of been used about five months ago. Jeez, oh, that's bad. But yeah, so it's gotten a bit dirty, but overall, oh, God, overall, it's a nice place, nicely done. You've got all your wooden ceilings. I mean, it's even nice here coming during winter when you bring salami and crap and light that stove, which despite it looking really crap, actually warms up really good. What's the fire doing? 
Oh, come on, dude. I'll grab the drain out of the car and give it a bit of a whirl like the wind's picked up, but I don't think it's that bad to stop the drone. I have created this for the drone so that the grass doesn't get in its way. I'll have to be very precise when landing this thing. Oh, that looks like there's some sign of life. Looks like there's someone shooting in the distance. Alright, hopefully this thing doesn't get caught on any trees and that big tree, I've had that happen once, not fun. <laughs> back in the car I'm just going to leave that there it might snow I might come back just wanted to have a look at the stream quickly that I saw on the drone footage like I've walked in this bush before but I've never knew or never walked that far to see a stream there like there's no bears or wolves here well none that I've ever seen so I should be pretty right it almost looks like a trail here. I'm guessing a little four-wheeler or something drives through here during summer. Also hope I don't get shot here because there is people hunting, so I could hear gunshots when I came here, so yeah, a few minor dangers. Oh, there is a bit of white snow down there. These just look like dog tracks. What the fuck is that? That looks huge. I suppose it could be a dog. Uh, I don't think anyone's ever walked down here. At least I don't have to worry about killer spiders and snakes. Nothing moves in winter here. Yeah. The stream's pretty dirty. It's like half frozen snow.
Alrighty, I gotta get food. Literally haven't even eaten breakfast. I just jumped out of bed and went to do things.